If you're an athlete, these are the core exercises that you need in your training program. And at the end of the video, I'll be explaining why. For the first exercise, you will need an exercise ball. You're gonna plank on it. Make sure that you drive your elbows into it and keep your chest away from the ball. The further your feet away are apart, the easier the exercise. The closer they are, the harder the exercise. I like to keep my feet about hip width apart. From here, you're gonna roll your arms out in front and go back and forth. It's very important that your whole body doesn't move, just your arms are gonna move. The further you reach, the harder the exercise. Then after you do six of those, you're gonna do six circles to the left. The bigger the circles, the harder it is. The smaller the circles, the easier it is. Same thing to the right. You're gonna do six circles to the right, making sure that you're not twisting your body as you're doing those circles. Three rounds, have fun, enjoy the burn. Second exercise, you're gonna have the resistance coming from your side and you want the resistance to be about shoulder height. From there, you're gonna take a couple steps out, bring that resistance to your chest. From here, you're gonna drive your knees out left to right and have your feet about shoulder width apart. Then you're gonna reach for the ceiling, just like you're gonna help me out and reach for that subscribe button. It'd be greatly appreciated. You're gonna go back and forth eight to 10 times. As you reach, you should feel your core engage more and more because it's trying to resist leaning to the side. Don't give into that resistance. If you feel like you're giving into it, drop the weight a little bit or just don't go as high. It's important that you do both sides, get that athletic stance and reach straight up towards the ceiling. Embrace the burn. The third and final exercise is probably one of my favorite exercises because there's so many different variations you can do. We're gonna start easy and then get into the hardest variation. You're gonna lay on the BOSU ball but your, down, your butt is gonna be on the down slope and then you're gonna lean back. You wanna keep your back on the BOSU ball as much as you possibly can, right in the middle. From there, you're gonna reach up towards the ceiling, do a slight crunch, then bring both legs up. This is the easiest variation, just trying to hold this for time, 15, 30 seconds. If you wanna do a minute, you can, but I feel like that's too long. I'd rather you just challenge yourself to doing something a little bit harder. So now let's get into the next variation. From here, you're just gonna move one limb at a time. We call it around the world. You can go one arm, do the opposite arm and then do your leg, trying to stay on that BOSU ball the entire time. Don't let yourself rock forward and don't let your spine start to arch. Keep that core engaged. The next variation is gonna be opposite arm, opposite leg. You can do six to eight, making sure that you're keeping that crunch the entire time. And the hardest variation, man, my core is burning right now. You're gonna do both arms and both legs and just go back and forth, making sure that you're just staying on that BOSU ball the entire time. If you can get to 10 reps, Good for you, it's gonna be extremely challenging. Enjoy the burn. Now that you've seen the exercise, it's really important you understand why you need these exercises in your program. Your core is responsible for resisting movement through three different planes. One is front to back, the second side to side, and the third being rotation. If your core can't resist movement through those three planes, you're gonna be less efficient with your movement, which means you're gonna get tired faster and it's gonna put you at a higher risk for injury and no one wants that. So make sure that you incorporate these exercises or ones like them into your program. If you want more exercises like the ones I just showed you, I have two amazing videos for you. I'll put them down in the link below or down in the description below. Make sure you check those out. If you have any questions for me, drop a comment. I'd love to help you. Until next time, keep moving and enjoy the rest of your day.